Earth is warming faster than previously thought, scientists say, and the window is closing to avoid the catastrophic outcomes. CNN, as the world battles a historic drought, landscape authoring wildfires and deadly blues, a landmark report from global scientists say the window is rapidly closing to cut our reliance on the fossil fuels and avoid the catastrophic changes that would transform life as we know it. The state of the science report from the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change says the world has rapidly warmed 1.1 degrees Celsius higher than pre-industrial levels and is now cur careening toward 1.5 degrees, a critical threshold that world leaders agree the world warming should remain below to avoid the worsening impact. Only by making deep cuts to uh, greenhouse gas emissions while also removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere can we halt the pre precipitous trend. Bottom line is that we have zero years left to avoid the dangerous climate change because it's here, Michael E. Mer a lead author of the IPCC's 2001 report told CNN. Unlike a previous assessment, Monday's report concludes it unequal, unequal vocal that humans have caused the climate crisis and confirms that the widespread and ra rapid changes have already occurred, some of them in irre irreversibly irreversibly, reversibly, that is due in part to the breakneck pace at which the planet has been recently warming faster than scientists have previously ob observed. Since 2018, when the panel published a special report on the significance of 1.5 degrees, greenhouse gas emissions have continued mostly unabated and have pushed global temperatures higher. Even under the IPCC's most optimistic scenario, in which the world's emissions begin to drop sharply, sharply today and are reduced to net zero by 2050, the global temperature will still peak above the 1.5 degree threshold before falling. In a statement, U.S. Secretary U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres called the report a code red for humanity and noted the 1.5 degree threshold is perilously close. The only way to prevent exceeding this threshold is by urgently stepping up our effort and pursuing the most ambitious path. Guterres said the greenhouse gas emissions will push warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. The world is on track to warm at least 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels in five scenarios considered in the IPCC report. Only the lowest emission scenario in which carbon dioxide emissions decline to net zero around 2050 would eventually bring the planet below this key mark. The IPP IPCC report comes just three months before the EU UN led international climate change talks, during which global leaders are expected to threaten their commitment to cutting greenhouse gas emissions. Though some cr countries have pledged stricter, stricter cuts since the 2015 Paris Agreement, many, has, many have missed the deadlines to do so, and there is still a significant gap between what leaders are prom promising and what's needed by 2030. From a scientific perspective, every degree, every part of the degree, 
every heart of the degree matters in terms of limiting the impact that we will see from climate change. Cole Barrett, the former vice chair of the IPCC, told the CNN. So, what whatever level countries decide decide is what they are aiming for. There is a benefit and there are consequences to choosing those limits. David Ray, the director of the Edinburgh Climate Change Institute, said world leaders must have the findings of these reports seared into their mind minds at the November conference and take urgent action. This is not just another scientific report, Re said. This is hell and high water wheat large. A man hurry, hurries to evacuate the ship from the advancing wildfire in Turkey on August 2nd. As computing power increases, scientists are more confident than ever in connecting the dots between the climate crisis and extreme weather, which for some regions, even at 1.1 degrees of warming, is already becoming unbearable. Michael Byrne, Byrne, a climate researcher at the University of Oxford, said that what's different about this report is the impact effect of glo global warming are no longer in the distant future or in far-flung corners of the world. We knew what was coming and now it's here, Bain said. The heat wave that killed the hundreds, di hundreds this summer in the US Northwest and Brit British Columbia would have been virtually impossible without the climate crisis researchers found. It made Hurricane Harvey's devastating rainfall roughly three times more likely to occur and 15% more intense, scientists said. Harvey dumped more than 19 trillion gallons of water on Texas and Regina in 2017, triggering devastating flows in the Houston area. The IPCC says heavy rainfall that used to occur once every 10 years now occurs 30% more frequently. Nearly 200 people were killed in Germany and Belgium when more than an entire month, entire month worth of rain fell in as little as 12 hours. Tens of thousands of people were unable to return to their homes left without access to power and drinking water. Globally, drought that may have occurred only once, once every 10 years also now happens 70% more frequently, according to the report. The climate change connection is particularly strong in the western United States, which is experiencing a historic multi-year drought that has drained the reservoir and triggered the water shortages. Amy, the unrelenting drought and record heat to wildfire seasons are now no, now longer and is resulting in more destructive fires. Six of the top ten largest fires in California have occurred in 2020 and all 2021, according to Car Fire. We are seeing through truly frightening fire behavior. I don't know how to overstate that," said Chris Carton, supervisor of California's Fl Flumas National Forest Supervisor in California, who called this year's wildfire, wildfire season uncharted territory. Char Charles Covin, a lead author of the report to chapter on global carbon cycles, said California has already reached a tipping point on wildfires. I don't, I don't think we knew where that threshold was until we crossed it, he told CNN. 
What the report makes clear is that the likelihood of crossing any of these tipping points is certainly going to increase the more warming that we see. Flames from the Dixie fire consume a pickup truck on Highway 89 south of Greenville, California on Thursday, August 5. With every fraction of With every fraction of a degree of warming, the effects worsen, even limiting warming to 1.5 degrees, which countries in Paris Agreement determined was ideal to stave off the worst impact. The kinds of extreme weather the world has experienced this summer will become more severe and more frequent. Beyond 1.5 degrees, scientists say the climate system could begin to look unrecognizable. Andrew Watson, a scientist at the University of Exeter, said the climate models used in the report don't capture the risk of low probability, high impact events that become more likely as global temperature increases. These are events such as ice seat collapse, sudden changes in ocean circulation, or the catastrophic wildfires, said Watson said. These unknown unknowns are scarier still. The lovely 3,500-page report is a culmination, culmination of nearly a decade of climate research by scientists around the world, and although the IPCC is considered the ultimate source on climate change, it tends to be conservative in its findings because of the way it developed by having hundreds of scientists come to a consensus not only on the, on the research but the language describing it. Yet, the Monday's report used the strongest wording to date in describing the climate crisis. Ice seeds are melting and will continue to melt. Extreme flooding from higher sea level will continue to get more frequent and the sea level itself will continue to rise well into the 2002 century, 2002nd century, simply because of the amount of heat the oceans have already trapped. At the same time, scientists are so sounding the alarm. The International Energy Agency says human carbon emissions are on course to surge by 1.5 billion tons in 2021, the second largest increase in history, the reversing most of last year's decline caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The IPCC report is clear that global leaders must cut greenhouse gas emissions now before deadly and costly weather extremes get even worse. But Barrett said the key message in the report is that it's still possible to prevent the most dire impact. It really requires the unprecedented transformational change, rapid and immediate reduction of greenhouse gas emissions to net zero by 2050, said Barrett. The idea that there is still a pathway forward is the point that should give us some hope. CNN's Angela Dewan, Brandon Miller, and John Cuffey contributed to this report.